livestock manager, a livestock management software designed for commercial livestock enterprises that need detailed livestock management records. It works on both computers, mobile phones, any device. So it's very flexible to handle multiple identification while tracking treatments, pedigree, animal movements, calving, milk production, etc. So as you can see, it has different components. So it has a section for managing individual cattle, then matings or servings when you have exposed the cows to bulls, then calving records, winners, then yearlings, tracking large herds of cattle, mobs, then tracking management of pasture under paddocks, then you can keep track of your contacts, milk records, meat production, and etc. as you can see. So it has the element of feed formulation where you can formulate your own feed and then generate a nutrient composition. Then it has a revenue estimator where you can calculate your cost of production. It has a summary of your entire herd composition, how many cows do you have, how many heifers do you have, how many bulls do you have, steers, winners, calvings. And then you can look at the statistics making sense of the data you have been entering, then to generate the financial performance report in terms of the bar graph, then also the same milk production. So it has historical information for each animal is easy to find. So you go to cattle. And then you can see individual animals so you keep track of each individual animal and then keep track of its historical information its pedigree you record medication history if it was insured then you also track the insurance information then the veterinary visits and then you keep all that information so here as you can see i have around 200 herds of cattle So it, you keep track of all your animals in one place. You can add photos, then you track its weight, its breed. As you can see here. Then you can filter out. Maybe say if you want to filter out for meat specifically I don't have any for meat if you want to filter out say for milk I don't have any for multi purpose I don't have any for reproduction so most are for milk purpose. So if you can also filter by breed, by name, by location, if they are located in different paddocks. So you have can you keep track of the servings. Then you can add new servings, then you keep track of the calving date, pregnancy check, then when its calving is due. So you can see this one was exposed on the 1st of May 2018, and then it gave birth on 25th of January 2019. So if you want to record calving, you come and click here so you can test for pregnancy, you can record the birth. Or if you want to check this pregnancy for this one, you can come here and check pregnancy. To record the pregnancy check date, check method, if it's ultrasound, if it's observation. If it's ultrasound, then it will ask you for the sex of the calf. The technician put in the pregnancy check, then the results, the cost. So it's very detailed such that it can
capture every information that's required to do data analytics and make sense of your production data. So you can have paddocks here. So like this is paddock number one, paddock number two, paddock number three. And then under paddocks you can keep track of your pasture. For example, you can record soil analysis, the date of planting and the planting records, record fertilizer details when you have cultivated, when you have sprayed, crop scouting, harvest. So all these details can be captured and then you can keep track of all everything under events history. So here you have all the details of that paddock. So for example, here we prepare the land and then the cost, then here it was fertilization, adding fertilizers to, to the paddock. Here planting, we planted the alfalfa. So you record all those details. So also here the paddock it shows you the stocking rate. The total animals in within that paddock, there are 75 heifer cows that are within that paddock. And then the crop type within this paddock is alfalfa and the arable area is 23 acres of land. Then you can keep track of the mobs if you are tracking them as a group instead of as a single individual animal but you can keep track of a group. So here the name of the mob is first mob, then it's Dutch Frisian. It's the age classes, they are hay for cows, then they are 75, they are in paddock one, and the date when they moved into that paddock, their average age, you can track it from here, the average weight and the average. So then here you can keep track of everything, the medication history, the number of animals which were sold within that paddock, then the feeding, record feeding, you can divide the mob into different divisions. You can transfer the mob from one paddock to another paddock. Then you can move the paddock from one paddock to another paddock. So then you can also keep track of the events, the events history of that paddock, the day when the mob was transferred, then the divisions, the number sold, feeding, death, mortality, treatment so you keep track of all those details when you are keeping your animals in groups than in the video pens so you keep track of milk records meat production feeds then you can formulate your own feeds so here if you want to formulate your feeds you click on add new and then it will bring the list of ingredients so then you choose which ingredients you want to use but also you can add your own ingredients so you can add your own ingredients to the already list of ingredients which the system generates automatically So if say you want to formulate a feed which has barley, then you come and click on barley and you want to add wheat, then you want to add cassava, maybe you want to add soya and you want to add sunflower then you can after selecting the ingredients you click formulate feed so when you click on formulate feed it brings you to this screen and then you can give your ration a name say winner's meal winner's ration and then the amount the total of amount of feeds you want to mix say 750 kilograms and then the cost of value say this then which is 800 and then cassava is 700 then this is 2500 
1,200. Then you come and if you want to mix 25% kilograms, 75-25% 25 of barley, then you want 15% of wheat. So as you are adding the percentages, then it's the system is calculating the nutrient composition. So as you can see here, we have dry matter of 88%, crude ash of 1.9, and crude protein of 10%, and then crude fat of 1.93%. So if I say I want to make 13 kilograms of cassava, and then so yeah, I want to mix 12 kilograms, and then sunflower, I want to mix, say, 35. So, here the system generates the total weight of each ingredient you want to mix here, under weight. And then also the cost you are going to incur on each ingredient. Then also it has generated the nutrient composition here. And we have got protein content of 19.23%. So if you want to reduce on the protein content, then you can come and play around with the percentages till when you generate the required crude protein content that you are targeting. So here the batch cost is 960,750. Then it also gives you the unit cost of each, which is 1,281. So after that, you can save it or you can download it. So when you save it, then it comes here under your feed rations. So you have the formulation date, the ration name, the feed quantity, the batch cost, then the batch cost per kilogram. So the system also has advanced reports here. So you can, the system generates quite a number of reports with detailed data analytics. Or you can uh, calculate your cost of production under the revenue estimator. So under your, the revenue estimator, you come and calculate the cost of production and also your return on investment, depending on how big you want to start in case you are starting the enterprise. Or even when you are in the middle of the enterprise to make some projections to see how you are going to be performing in that financial year and then you can adjust according whether to increase on the opening stock whether to add more animals through purchases so you can generate the cost of production and then the return on investment to see how you'll be performing so you have here reports so you can keep you can see how your farm is performing through a number of reports whether it's treatment report so you come and see your treatment report whether it's milk reports so the so system generates different reports to see how your farm is performing and then you can make informed decisions through such actionable insights So this is cow inventory. So it shows you that you have 69 cows. 69 are active, so it means all are active. Then it generates the average age of all your cows. Then the number that is lactating. So we have three that are lactating, and we have three that are exposed, and one is confirmed pregnant. So you have, you can keep track of your inventory under the inventory section. So under inventory, you can keep track of your feeds you have stocked, then the medicines you have stocked, the seeds you have stocked, then also semen and the embryos. So you can keep track of all of them, semen, feed, medicine, fertilizers, seed, embryos, and then the sprays for spraying your plants or pasture. So you here, you keep track of the batch number, 
keep track of the threshold the threshold that's the limit for example if you said you have stocked 700 kilograms of feeds and you want to stock again when it, the stock reaches 100 kilograms so when it reaches 100 kilograms the system sends you a notification alert such that you can restock the feeds so it depends it depends on the usage the more you subtract through daily feeds then the current inventory reduces so when it reaches the threshold point then you get a notification to restock so it has a system like any elaborated financial manager it has you can track employees you can track your customers your suppliers then you can generate estimates quotations for potential buyers then sell orders invoices payment received so you can keep track of all of that then also you can keep track of the purchase orders then the bills payments made then also here you generate the statistics to see how the farm is performing so it's a very broad system that we have this developed for large scale and medium medium scale farmers to keep track of their operations it works on different devices so you simply click on the link down the video and then you can download it either on your pc or on your phone and then you can start using it and then we shall be glad to hear from you to get the feedback and see how it's working for you and where we can improve whether we need to improve on the user experience and all of that then we shall be glad to get that feedback and make it better for everyone. Thank you.